Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over the Archer Push-Up on Rings. The Archer Push-Up is a unilateral push-up that can be done on rings or on the floor and allows us to focus on one side at a time. Here we can produce a solid stimulus for growth and strength while being able to focus and work on our weaker side. Overall, applying the Archer Push-Up is a great way to mix things up for your horizontal pushing work, challenge yourself unilaterally, and focus on weak points. During the Archer Push-Up, the primary muscles involved include your pecs, shoulders, and triceps. Let's talk about movement and setup. I want to talk about the movement and setup here because this is a common ring exercise that most start at a very high intensity and tend to break form a lot of the time. If you have never tried these before, regardless of current level of strength, practice the technique. Let's go over the movement first. Place the rings at hip height, if not a bit higher, and bring the rings out in front of you with your arms straight. We're going to walk into the position first, just to understand and feel where you want to be. Starting with your right arm as the working arm, walk forward, keeping your right elbow tucked close to your body. Bringing your right fist toward your chest, while your left arm remains straight throughout the motion and moving away horizontally from your right fist. Here at this end point is how we want to enter the archer push-up. Your working arm is tucked with fist touching your chest, and the supporting arm is straight with no bend in the elbow. Look at your supporting arm and your working arm, see how it's set up, see how it feels, and then return to the starting position, keeping that working arm as close to your body as possible with the supporting arm continuing to stay straight, and then repeat these steps on both sides for a few reps. The archer push-up can be a confusing movement for some people, and it's worth performing a few of these practice repetitions to understand how you'll be performing them under tension. For the setup, I recommend using a ring height and body position that will allow your supporting arm to remain straight. If the supporting arm begins to bend with the very first reps, the intensity you're using might be too high. So to put it simply, the higher the rings are and the further in front of the anchor point you are, the easier it will become. The lower the rings are and the further back from the anchor point you are, the harder it will become. Also, I recommend either keeping a slightly wide stance with your feet or shifting your feet as you alternate your weight from one side to the other. Using a wide stance may be easier when alternating. A setup that can get you to at least 6 repetitions per side without a bend in the supporting arm within the first few reps is a good place to start. Alright, now let's go over form. For the starting position, choose the setup that you'll be working with. Keep your arms straight in front of you and brace your core. You also might find it useful to stay on your toes. During the eccentric, keep your core braced and with control, descend into the working arm while keeping your fist in a neutral position and elbow tucked with your arm as close to your body as possible. As you are descending into the working arm, abduct or bring your supporting arm away from you horizontally, keeping the elbow straight. Also make sure your shoulders are depressed, and it might be useful to look at your supporting arm as you lower down to make sure you're keeping it straight. At the bottom, you should be in a full archer position with the fist of the working arm touching your chest, if not close to it, and your supporting arm staying straight. During the concentric, focus on pushing yourself back up with your working arm in a neutral position, keeping your working arm close to your body while bringing your supporting arm back to center without bending the elbow. At the top, try and bring your hands together, squeeze your pecs, and either alternate or use the same working arm again for continued repetitions and repeat the same process. Let's go over some common mistakes. Mistake number one shrugging your shoulders. Not only are you not properly targeting your chest, but also you are not maintaining a safe and optimal position as it's placing unnecessary stress on the anterior aspect of your shoulder and with constant repetition like this over time, it could lead to injury or imbalances. Remember to check yourself and see how you're performing. Mistake number two, supporting elbow bending. If you notice a bend in the supporting elbow, the intensity might be too much and you need to back off. Now I will say that towards the end of a few sets, you'll probably notice a minor bend from the accumulation of reps and fatigue. That's totally fine and can be improved over time. But if you notice a bend within the first few reps, regress the intensity and find a position that'll allow you to perform repetitions with a straight supporting arm and better technique. Which leads me to my last mistake too much too soon. Check the ego. You do not need to start at the hardest position. If you find a break in the supporting elbow, shoulder shrugging, or an inability to perform three reps per side, and you're absolutely trying your hardest, just back off. Reduce the intensity, dial down the technique, and gradually improve over time. There's no rush here. For progressions, we have high ring placement with the body in front of the anchor point, a low ring placement with the body behind the anchor point, same side repetitions, and the hardest progression being same side repetitions with the legs elevated. Alright guys, that's my video on how to perform the archer push-up on rings. 
If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and click that subscribe button down below for more content in the future. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below and I look forward to answering them. Thank you guys for watching and enjoy the process.